Welcome to the inaugural Phi Network Future Fest Chronicles event. This TED Talk style showcase is dedicated to highlighting the remarkable achievements of our Phi students across various domains, including research, study abroad experiences, internships, conference attendance, and other forms of exponential learning. Over 300 students were invited to participate in this, and the students that are here today are the 10 that we selected. They are hoping that you are inspired by their stories and you take the baton and continue forward. My name is Arushi. I'm a sophomore studying public health and natural sciences. Today, I'm presenting about my study abroad experience in Cape Town, South Africa. The second very important component of the trip was service learning. Essentially, in groups of two or three, you were kind of placed at NGOs all around Cape Town. There was one that was very focused on food and agriculture, and another one that was very focused on health and community workers. My name is William Mariscal. I'm a current sophomore studying public health. And for my presentation, I am talking about my study abroad experience in South Africa. But I feel like being in South Africa, I saw like a bigger disconnect in terms of like how sexual violence is so connected into sexual health. I realized that sexual violence is really high amongst like immigrants and just refugee populations and women. My name is Nicole Giordano and I'm a junior studying applied mathematics and statistics. And my presentation is how to navigate the finance world with an unconventional background. I, I speak Spanish, Italian, and, and obviously English. And a lot of the trading desks actually work with Latin American teams and they value individuals who speak Spanish and can communicate with them. So that was a huge asset when I was shadowing Latin American teams. My name is Elizabeth Abatson and I'm a junior majoring in molecular and cellular biology. And tonight I will be speaking about my experiences in London and Jamaica, as well as talking about research and how I was able to receive funding. Meeting new people and broadening my network, so now I'm connected to people at the University of Maryland Med School and also Hopkins Med School, and that's something that's really beneficial to me as a pre-med individual. My name is Andrew Kim. I went junior studying material science and engineering, and at the Future Fest, I was presenting on my summer experience in Switzerland, where I studied and modeled the fragmentation of aluminum during the rolling process. I also think the Light Design Lab. They were able to review my application material as well. When I applied to Switzerland, they don't use resumes. They use a CV. So I was able to reach out to them and they were really able to help me uh, get a more personal experience, see how I could integrate everything into my resume into a nice fancy CV that EPFO actually prefers. My name is Kennedy Woods. I'm currently a junior studying engineering mechanics. And today I'm talking about how to secure an industry internship. To tell your story, nothing is too small. Too often people think that a small class project doesn't mean much, but if that's on your resume and you can really speak to it, then it's helpful for employers to know you're knowledgeable, you like what you're doing, and you know how to do what you're doing accurately. My name is Romero Biagini Rosenbaum, and I'm a double degree student studying classical guitar performance at Peabody Conservatory and writing seminars at Johns Hopkins University. In my presentation, I talked about the studying abroad and the creation of my first book. I thought to myself what I would write about and what did I want to say. Um, it was important to me that the pieces would be able to kind of encapsulate something that both shared my experience but also that could inspire others and seeing that these sort of experiences were achievable and possible. My name is Kaylin Swift and I'm an undergraduate senior double majoring in molecular and cellular biology and chemistry and today I was talking about my study abroad experiences in both St. Lucia and Jamaica and I talked about how that can impact any of your future academic experiences. So my main and my biggest point is staying organized. So I did that by creating a timeline and creating a spreadsheet with all the opportunities I was applying for, the deadlines and the dates, and when I accomplished each. So my name is Alejandro Peralta, and I am a sophomore and majoring in neuroscience. And my presentation was about how to navigate as a first-generation student on the pre-med track. So key lessons, uh, ad adaptability is definitely uh, a big one in problem solving. In my case, I had a lot of big issues, but I was able to work it out simply by sending that one email and having a plan. Another thing is having that clear communications and what I was willing to do and what I was actually able to do. My name is Allison Chu. I am a junior and I study biomedical engineering. Today in my talks I talked about my summer internship which was a quality control intern at Thermo Fisher and I talked about networking and how it helped me get me my internship. Why would someone who I don't even know want to give me a referral? We're expecting them to give us something 
and when they have like no obligation to give us anything. So I propose that we kind of shift the mindset instead of trying to go into networking to get a referral and like that transactionality of it, it's really good to have a genuine connection with someone. Our focus is on celebrating these outstanding accomplishments. Whether you're a first year or third year, we hope to inspire you to forge your own path and perhaps even next year, show up as one of our presenters.